Good morning, I'm here with George Cook from Sage Rio Reddington. Uh, we are early August, heading into a fine steelhead season coming in the state of Oregon. This is the Caddis Fly Fishing Shop here in Eugene. Um, George is going to tell us a little bit about the VXP rods and one of his favorites, the 5120, uh, in conjunction with some line choices for steelhead fishing in the Pacific Northwest. Thanks, Chris. Well, it is August. The counts on the Columbia going over Bonneville are, have really jumped in the previous two weeks. Steelhead are here and on the way. Um, I had the good fortune of fishing the Rogue River the other day, Southern Oregon, and uh, put the 5120, the newest VXP rod, along with the 8136 in this family, uh, to use. And uh, fishing with uh, a Skagit 400, a Skagit Flight 400, on this new 12 foot 5 weight. It was a very balanced outfit. Um, I happened to be fishing the new Deuce Wigelow fly from young John Hazlett, um, Southern Oregon steelhead guide of, of note. And um, I could have been fishing a Scandi style line with a floating line. I chose to go sink tip it um, that particular day as the sun got on the water fairly early, which is common this time of year and went deep with a lead eye type leech. Again, that black deuce wiggle -o you see there. This rod is the smallest of the VXB spay family, 12 foot five. There's also a 13 and a half foot eight that's new this year, which provides a five, a six, a seven, and an eight in this family of spay rods. This five is very notable in that almost everybody in this part of the country, whether they're Washingtonian, Oregonian, they're from Northern Cal, British Columbia, or even Western Idaho. Almost everybody's got a seven weight spay rod. Could be something like the vaunted Death Star TCX from Sage. Could be any number of seven weights, including the 7133 in this series. This is a great branch rod, a branch rod down, a smaller spay rod, one that's very focused for the summer and the fall fisheries that are you know, upon us and are really going to kick into gear here in August, September, October be it the Deschutes, Grand Ron, Clearwater in Idaho, Main Stem Snake, and even the John Day. This five weight, while five in name, plays bigger than five. Again, a 400 grain Skagit Flight or 385 Steelhead Scandi is, is the perfect load element for this rod. By having that smaller rod, um, an angler in conjunction with say a seven can set up two different lines and he could have maybe a sink tip set up on a seven in a Scandi floating setup, or maybe a Scandi with an intermediate here. Okay, versatility is key this time of year, and fly selection plays into these rods in that, despite its small nature as a five, this rod will throw this gamut of larger flies rather easily, as the VXP action is powerful in nature. Now, one question I have: speaking of fly choices, we've we've run into this recently. You know, let's say the guy wants to throw a scopper. Mm -hmm. on this light rod. You betcha. Are you going to do Skagit and floating tip or are you going to go Scandi and poly leader? What's going to be the very best way to turn over some of those pretty wind resistant large mm -hmm. uh, skating dry flies which we yeah. love to fish on the Umpqua you with bet. a small rod like this? You kill it. Well you got multiple options. You could go you could go a steelhead Scandi with say a 12 foot leader and no poly leader, just a steelhead salmon 12 foot leader right off the front of that steelhead Scandi line. You could put a 10 foot Spay Versi leader, a poly style leader on it with a shorter leader, say something in the neighborhood of six to seven and a half feet of total length off the poly style, style leader. You could also go a Skagit line in the case of this one a 400 or even a Skagit short. You could run a 425, maybe even a 475. I haven't really tried those two. Probably start with the 425 and kind of play up from there. I could put a Skagit floating tip, a 15 foot Skagit floating tip on there. But what I really could do is put a medium Mo 10 foot floating tip. Off oh, that short. Sure. Yeah, that, that might be, particularly for a place like the Umpqua where we're often, you know, got the Douglas firs or the Rip Rap right at our back. I'd probably opt for that route, whether I had a Skagit Flight or a Skagit Short on this particular rod. That 10 foot floating mo tip would be a great ticket to punch that fly into those windier, windier conditions that tend to show up after 10, 11 in the morning there. 
and certainly those type conditions are headed our way on the Deschutes out in the central Oregon. Ten desert. foot leader off the mo tip? Anywhere from as short as nine to as long as twelve would be appropriate with this. Okay. Um, maybe a little shorter if I was fishing the big scopper, the size two versus the four. I think the size four scopper is a little more applicable to say this rod versus say a seven or an eight weight where that bigger one would certainly cast more effectively. Okay? Great.